Hey guys, it's Renee. So for today's DIY, I wanted to share with you this home decor type item using a mason jar. Now I'm doing this with my mason jar because mine broke, so I cannot drink water out of it anymore. I used to do that. So I'm just going to carry on and cover my mason jar in white acrylic paint. You can use uh, spray paints, but I'm using just acrylic paint and I'm using my, my round sponge. You can use regular brushes, it's up to you. But I'm just going to uh, keep on doing that until everything is just white. I did uh, three to four coats of this one until I had this, like, this opaque or pigmented. So once uh, my paint is dry, and make sure it's like super, super dry, because if not, for the next step, you're going to be using a tape. And if it's not dry, your paint will come off once you remove your paint. So for this, you know, stripe method, I'm just going to use this blue painter's tape. Now, I did use something else before and just removed the tape and some paint came off. So I would highly suggest you to work with this one. I bought this at Home Depot and I love it. And I'm just going to go and pretty much add stripes of this tape. Now, I'm not really measuring the whole thing to see if like uh, everything is just like, you know, even or just perfect. I'm just going by eye and just trying to measure how much of a space my tape is so I can leave that same space without tape, if that makes any sense. I hope it does. So I'm just going to complete the whole thing. Once you get to the top, you have to make like a curve in there because of the shape it has. So um, this is what I did. This is how I applied my tape. First going like all the way around it and then just kind of like pushing as I went. And you're going to find out that it's not like super, super perfect line on top. If you're really picky about like having straight lines, you can always go ahead with your brush, like with a tin brush and just make sure the line is like super straight. Yeah, I'm just going to keep on doing that. This is what I did on the top, pretty much doing the same thing. Once I have done that, I'm just going to go with my black paint like acrylic paint this one is and I'm using a brush for this I'm just going to paint the bottom part like the first bottom line don't remove the tape just yet and I'm just going to paint the second one from bottom to top so once I have everything covered and before my black paint dries I'm just going to remove my tape it's better if you remove the tape before your paint dry because if not most likely some black paint will come off Hopefully I'm making some sense there and work my way up and making sure I remove the tape once I have like the top part and the bottom part and my tape is on the middle and before my paint dries basically. This is how I, you know, removed the one on the top. I wanted my lines to be not perfect because they are not perfect to begin with because of the measurements and but somewhat clean those edges and tops and bottoms so i just went with my white acrylic paint and just kind of like erased my mistakes we could say just until you know everything was just better looking and i'm just going to let it dry now I'm just going to be taking one of this nail buffers. I wasn't sure if it was going to actually work. And yeah, it works. It works fine. I just started buffing. First those letters I went. And then because I started to like the appearance of this, I went to the top part and just kind of like removed paint from here and there. And if that, it's up to you whether you want to go for this. If you want like something really vibrant and crisp and not so antique, just skip this part. And here is kind of like up to you how much you go with that buffing. I just went for it, like really went for it because I started to like, really like the appearance of it. Kind of giving the illusion that it was like super old and I bought it at, you know, this antique store or something like that. So I'm just going to go and make it as antique as I can make it. That includes like going in the really, really pigmented and black, you know, stripes and just removing a bit of paint or just buffing a bit of paint. But yeah, this is pretty much what I've got so far and I loved it. Now for my kind of like uh, leaf part, I'm just going to go and paint it with this minty acrylic paint. And I'm just going to cover two times or two coats with it. Pretty much at the end I did the same. I'm going with my buffer and just making it appear like if it was like super antique. Hopefully it turns out and it looks like kind of a vintage looking. And then I just used my satin finish because I was running out of matte finish. 
Matt would have been the best option for this project, but I didn't have it. So I'm just using satin and I actually like how it turns because it gives a subtle shine. It's not too much and it's uh, protective. So yeah, I just want to share this project with you. I love stripes, I love vintage stuff and I love mason jars. So combine this three and this is, I think, a really cute project. You can use this for many things for pencils and you know work or just school stuff, kitchen stuff, even makeup or as I did just it as a floral base. It's pretty much up to you and what you need. And yeah I just wanted to share this one. If you liked it don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more stuff, share it and don't forget to also check out my blog for photos and stuff. Also don't forget to hashtag me if you actually go for it. Let me know how what you think of this one. Talk to you later and take care. Bye guys!